the concept of Kiamat in the Quran, signs, events, and implications. The concept of Kiamat, or the Day of Judgment, is one of the most profound and awe-inspiring themes in the Quran, capturing the essence of accountability and the transient nature of worldly life. As believers ponder over the inevitability of this monumental event, they are reminded of the ultimate reality that awaits beyond temporal existence. This powerful doctrine not only shapes the moral and spiritual ethos of Muslims, but also serves as a compelling call to introspection and righteous living. Through vivid descriptions and unequivocal warnings, the Quran brings to life the events leading up to Qiyamat, the cosmic upheavals, and the ultimate fate of humanity, urging every soul to prepare for the day when the true nature of their deeds will be revealed. Please do subscribe the channel after watching the video. The day marks the culmination of earthly existence and the commencement of an eternal life where individuals will be judged by Allah based on their deeds. The Quran emphasizes that every person will be resurrected from their graves to face this judgment where Allah will assess their actions, intentions, and the way they lived their lives. The righteous will be rewarded with paradise, jana, while the wicked will be punished in hell, jahannam. The occurrence of Qiyamat is inevitable and certain, yet its exact timing is known only to Allah, arriving suddenly and unexpectedly. The prerequisites of its occurrence include a series of signs divided into minor and major categories. Minor signs include moral decay, the disintegration of family values, an increase in natural disasters, the spread of ignorance, and the emergence of false prophets. Major signs, which signal the imminent arrival of the Day of Judgment, include more significant events such as the appearance of the Dajjal, Antichrist the return of Prophet Isa, Jesus, to defeat the Dajjal, the emergence of Yajuj and Majuj, Gog and Magog, the rising of the sun from the west, the appearance of the beast of the earth, the engulfing smoke, and the blowing of the trumpet by the angel Israfil, signaling the end of the world. The Dajjal is a central figure among the major signs of Kiamat. Described as a deceiver and a false messiah, the Dajjal will emerge claiming divinity and performing miraculous feats to deceive many. He will be a figure of immense trial and tribulation, spreading corruption and misguidance across the world. The Quran and Hadith, sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, describe him as having one eye, symbolizing his deceitful nature. The Dajjal's reign will be marked by widespread turmoil, but his defeat will come with the return of Prophet Isa, Jesus. Isa will confront and kill the Dajjal, restoring truth and justice and bringing peace after a period of great chaos. Yajuj and Majuj, Gog and Magog, are another significant sign. They are described as two tribes of immense destructive power who will break free from a barrier that has held them back, spreading across the earth and causing widespread destruction. Their emergence will add to the chaos and tribulation of the end times, further emphasizing the severity of the trials preceding the Day of Judgment. Upon the blowing of the trumpet by Israfil, all living beings will perish, and the dead will be resurrected. This moment will be accompanied by cosmic changes, such as the splitting of the heavens, the collapse of mountains, the darkening of the sun, and the boiling of the seas. The earth will undergo a profound transformation, with its current form completely altered. These descriptions underscore the total and overwhelming nature of the end times, where the physical world as we know it will cease to exist, making way for a new reality where judgment will take place. The Quran vividly describes these events in several verses. Surah Al-Qiyamah, 75-140 emphasizes the certainty of resurrection and judgment, portraying the confusion and fear of people as they are resurrected. It describes how people's eyes will be humbled, and they will realize the futility of their earthly pursuits. The surah warns against the neglect of one's spiritual responsibilities, reminding believers of the transient nature of this world and the permanence of the hereafter. Surah Az-Zalzala 
99 or 1 to our 8, speaks of the earth shaking violently, causing people to scatter and revealing their deeds. On that day the earth will declare its information, testifying to the actions of those who lived on it. This surah underscores the idea that no deed, however small, will go unaccounted for, and every individual will see the consequences of their actions. Surah al-Infitar, 82, 1-19, describes the heavens splitting apart, the stars scattering, and the seas bursting forth, signaling the end times. It emphasizes the accountability of individuals, as every soul will know what it has sent forth for the day of judgment. The surah highlights the roles of the angels in recording human deeds and reminds believers of the omnipresence of Allah's knowledge. Surah Al-Hajj 22.12 warns of a day of great trembling, with nursing mothers abandoning their infants and pregnant women miscarrying from fear. This vivid imagery illustrates the sheer terror and chaos that will accompany the Day of Judgment, serving as a powerful reminder of the importance of spiritual readiness and piety. Surah an naba 78.1.1.40, discusses the resurrection and the gathering of people for judgment, emphasizing the finality and seriousness of that day. It contrasts the fate of the righteous, who will dwell in gardens of bliss, with the fate of the wicked, who will face a scorching wind and boiling water. This surah highlights the stark difference in outcomes based on one's deeds and faith. Surah Al-Ghashia, 88, 1-26, contrasts the fates of the righteous and the wicked, depicting the rewards and punishments awaiting each group. The righteous will enjoy a peaceful and joyful life in paradise, while the wicked will face a humiliating punishment in hell. This surah serves as both a warning and a source of motivation for believers to adhere to the path of righteousness. Towards the conclusion, I again remind you not to forget to like, share, and comment on the video, and also subscribe the channel. Collectively, these surahs paint a detailed picture of the Day of Judgment, highlighting its significance and the need for individuals to prepare for this inevitable event. The descriptions serve as both a warning and a reminder of the transient nature of worldly life and the enduring consequences of one's actions. The Quranic portrayal of Qiyamat underscores the importance of faith, righteousness, and accountability, urging believers to live a life that aligns with divine guidance and prepares them for the ultimate reality of the hereafter. May Allah guide us to the right path. Amin.